when placing a sentry gun, your first instinct might be to use them as a barrier between yourself and danger. Oh, well, that's not going to work well. So let me show you. Okay, take a sentry gun. Let's put it up here. Deploying sentry gun. Sentry almost ready. You see, I'm playing on nightmare difficulty. It spent 25 rounds, wasn't able to completely kill the alien, and the alien got close and outflanked the, the cone of the sentry. And with four swipes, the sentry gun is deactivated. So you now the sentry gun is wasted, and repairing it costs one tool point. And depending where you are in the campaign, that can be really expensive. Also, as a basic rule, if you set up a sentry gun, and it doesn't go through at least 200 out of 250 rounds before going down, then you place it wrong. Let's see how a group of sentries functions as a barrier between you and danger. Okay, we have an onslaught coming in from the south. And my marines are placed behind the sentries. the onslaught, however, they still took out two sentry guns, and the which costs two tool resources to repair. So placing yourself behind the sentries in a fight, as would logically in real life situation, probably would make sense, it doesn't work in this game like that. So next example, I've placed a similar setup of sentry guns, while well, this time I'm placing my marines in front of the sentry guns. Okay, the onslaught is going to come from here, likely from this town. More signals incoming. Okay, notice here. Place my rings over here so the aliens see me, come at me. However, they still have to cross a certain distance to get to me. And more importantly, they have to cross that distance while in the field of fire of the sentry guns. Also, it's the added effect that my marines start shooting at the aliens sooner instead of waiting behind the sentry guns. Okay, now, now it's out of them, now I'm repeating. Okay, now we get some planking from behind because my fire went out. Okay, so if the flanking fire would have been on, the sentry gun would never have been touched. And you see, it's much more effective this way. Basically, what you're creating, you're using sentry guns not as a primary defense, instead you're using it as, as artillery support. So you're moving around in the field of fire for sentries while the aliens come at you. So you have, you can already start shooting at the aliens before the sentry guns even see them. And then you slowly back off as they get too close, and they get closer and closer into the sentry fire. And this way, these sentries remain untouched, and on, on on hard aggressiveness levels, you might get some marines a bit shoot up. Or that's a lower price to pay than having to pay for tool resource, because that can get really that can really turn into rare resource late in the game. Okay now at the end of the video I'm gonna give you some tips on how to place the sentry guns. Because you noticed in the previous examples, I placed them all like this, all facing like this. Yes, I notice there are gaps. You see that triangular gap over here. And in the first example, this video, you notice how the drone got really close and then flanked out of the gap, out of the cone, and was able to kill the sentry gun. Okay, now let's place it a bit smarter. We know the aliens come down the hallway. Let's place one in the corner. Instead of then instead of placing it like this, creating a dead end, you rotate the cone like this. Because the alien likely has to get past this box to get to the sentry gun. So all the sentry gun you're wasting on that wall, that, that, that's not good, okay? So you go like this. 
Now, the any alien having wanting to come to the sentry gun still ends up in the cone. However, that sentry gun over here is extending its cone to this point. I'm placing another one over here. Again, not like this, because you're wasting about 40% of the cone on the wall. Place it like this. Okay, so what you created here is that when the alien gets close and it tries to outflank one sentry gun, it will end up in the fire cone of the other sentry gun. Okay, so the next example is, what do you do if you have a really tight corridor that's not very long, but you have to fight the aliens up close? Okay, so first instinct, let's say this is a long corridor, and they will come around this corner, and those doors are closed. Now, normal instinct would be, you place all of them, you stack them all up at this place, and hope the alien doesn't get close enough to start chopping at the sentry gun. What we do in this case is, instead of bunching them all, all up here, is place them in a staggered position like this. So eventually they will get to one sentry gun, which might get destroyed really quickly. However, all the aliens trying to kill a sentry gun will spend some time over here trying to kill the sentry gun while the others remain untouched and can keep shooting. So you lose one sentry gun, then it cascades to the next one. If you have all of them in one chunk over here, then if the alien gets close to one, starts chopping it apart and kills it, then the next one is already in reach to get attacked. Okay, the next example is, what do you do if you cannot control the attack angle of things? Let's say for some reason you are over here, you might get attacked from three angles. And sure, you can use flamethrowers to delay the attack, but sometimes if you flamethrower, they still go through the fire if they can fight a better route. So what we do in this case is place the ruins like that, and place, no, place one sentry up here. Again, notice here, make sure you waste as little of the firing cone on walls as possible. Place one over here. Now, if some alien comes in from here, it can chop it apart. So you place the next sentry gun, so it can cover this sentry gun. Though they have overlapping cover like this. And the next one, if you have if you have them still. Place one over here. And then the next one over here. Now notice the sentry guns over here and over here are completely defenseless against anything coming from this direction. Oh the sentry guns from the other direction are going to cover that. 